Have you ever heard about the story of an honest farmer and a cheater baker? Let's take a journey to a small town where this tale unfolds. This humble town is home to two friends, a diligent farmer and a skilled baker. Their friendship was uniquely built on a simple trade agreement. Every day, the farmer would carry a kilogram of his fresh, creamy butter to the baker, and in return, the baker would hand over a kilogram of his warm, crusty bread loaf to the farmer. This was their daily ritual, their trade. One kilogram of butter for one kilogram of bread, a seemingly perfect balance. This agreement was not just a mere transaction but also a testament to their friendship. They trusted each other, and their bond grew stronger with each passing day. This daily trade went on for quite a long time, and it seemed like a fair deal. But one day the baker decided to weigh his butter. You see, a tiny seed of suspicion had begun to sprout in his mind. He wondered if he was truly getting the full kilogram of butter he was trading his bread for. So he decided to put the butter on the scale. To his dismay, the weight fell short of a kilogram. His heart sank. He felt deceived, cheated even. This wasn't a simple mistake. This was a betrayal. His face turned red with anger and indignation. The trust he had in the farmer seemed to shatter into a million pieces. He felt the need to confront this injustice, to stand up against the dishonesty he believed he was subjected to. He decided the only way to resolve this was to take the farmer to court. It was a hard decision but he felt it was the right thing to do. The baker was furious and he wanted justice. In court, the farmer was questioned about how he weighs his butter. The room fell silent, waiting for the farmer's response. He cleared his throat and simply said, Your Honor, I don't have a fancy machine, but I do have a trusty old scale. This answer seemed to perplex the judge who then asked, How then, dear farmer, did you weigh your butter? The farmer, standing tall and confident, began to explain his method. His words echoed around the courtroom a simple truth unraveling the baker's accusation. Each day, the farmer started, the baker would bring me a loaf of bread, claiming it to be one kilogram. I trusted him as friends do. So I would place his bread on one side of my scale, then add butter on the other side until the weights balanced. I would give him the exact weight in butter as his supposed one kilogram loaf of bread. The courtroom was filled with murmurs as the farmer's explanation sunk in. His honesty was clear as day, his method as sound as the ground beneath their feet. It was a simple scale, a loaf of bread and a lump of butter, yet it was more than that. It was trust, it was fairness, it was friendship. The farmer's words seemed to hang in the air, a testament to his integrity. He was not a man of machines or trickery, but a man of his word. He did not cheat the baker, he simply returned what he received. The baker, however, was left dumbfounded. His accusation had backfired, revealing his own deceit. His face turned as white as his flower, his eyes wide with realization. He had been weighing his own dishonesty all along, and so the farmer's wisdom shone through, his honesty unquestionable. His simple scale had revealed a profound truth, showing everyone that honesty can be found in the most humble of places. The farmer was not a cheater, but a wise and honest man who believed in fairness. It turns out the baker was cheating himself all along. The irony was not lost on the courtroom, a ripple of laughter echoing through the silence. The farmer's tale was a reminder to all that honesty is indeed the best policy. The judge, after hearing the farmer's explanation, had his verdict ready. The courtroom was silent, the air thick with anticipation. The judge cleared his throat and began to speak. The farmer here has been honest in his dealings, weighing his butter with the very same bread loaf that the baker himself provided. A ripple of surprise ran through the crowd. The farmer's simple yet effective method of ensuring fairness had turned the tables completely. On the other hand, the judge continued, the baker, under the guise of friendship, attempted to cheat and exploit the farmer. This is not acceptable and hence, he will face the consequences. The baker's face turned ashen. He had been exposed. By the powers vested in me, I pronounce the baker guilty of dishonesty and deceit, declared the judge. He shall be punished for his actions. The cheetah baker had been caught, all thanks to the honest farmer's wisdom.